He's making so many grunting noises. Good evening, everybody. Wilbur's wanted to say good night to all of you. He's very talkative tonight. Make him talk, Sean. It's Wilbur's. Hey, Wilbs. Wilbs is allowed out late because he doesn't go after toads. So this is his last last time out before he goes under his blankies and his fluffy beds. Oh, the maple syrup is so strong right now. I just got a whiff. And our, our pig smells like maple syrup. It smells like a waffle. <laughs> Hi, Wilbies. Hi, Monkey. Oh, just scratched a butt. Scratched a butt. Feel good, Wilbers? Good boy. Look at this mohawk on you. You look gorgeous, Wilbur. You look so gorgeous. Country life agrees with Wilbur. Right, Wilbs? There's that lady again. Oh, She's filming me. Let me just clean my lens. Hold on. Is that better? It's a little hazy, isn't it? There, it's better. King Wilbur's. King Wilbur's. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you? Just wanted to check in before we call it a night. It is almost 8 o'clock. Not sure why, but oh, what does that mean, Joni? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's doing a yoga stance, right? Like yeah. When is Wilbur's next pedicure? He just had his pedicure not that long ago. It's every six months. He's a country pig. He loves it out here. Loves it. Right, Wilbur? Wilbur, do you love it? I got the butt. I got Wilbur's butt. Uncle Keith doing, buddy? Go see. He said it's very dark. No adoption tonight. Sorry. We did do a home check. Uh, Shelly and I drove to West Palm to a previous adopter of ours, and everything is wonderful, but they have a couple of adjustments to make on their fencing so we could not leave our dog there so to be continued I should say but we will have some great news coming soon Queen Mary Sabrina is doing wonderful Millie is doing wonderful listen I just shared a picture of Liam on the page in his jammies you guys have got to go take a look at it it is unbelievable to think that Liam was tied to the pole, left to die, emaciated, everything wrong with him, and then to see him adopted and so loved and spoiled. It's a good, good, happy heart post right before you go to sleep. So check it out on our page. I just posted it a couple of uh, minutes ago. Oh, okay. here we got an, an asshole on the page. Okay. Mimi S. White, see you later. Mm, bacon. See you later, Mimi. <clears throat> How rude. Oh, God. I want to just... Ugh. Can't fix stupid, can you? Show mommy the big root. Where's love? Show mommy the big root over here. Look at that butt. Look at that tail doesn't stop. Isn't he adorable in his PJs, Anne? I already blocked her. Thanks, Carol. Yeah. No, no. Mimi's gone. She's been blocked. 
oh, I don't know. These people have no life. I swear there's just so much evil in the world. Let's not even feed into it. It's done. It's gone. I just read it and I was like, oh, hell no. Get off my page. Wilbur, it's not bedtime yet, Wilbs. Wilbur, come show mommy your new room. Wilbur, your belly looks pretty big tonight. He looks bloated. He, <laughs> he looks bloated, Baba. You need to go poo poos. I drink water. Come here, baby. What did I do with you? Oh, here, Will. Come here, baby. I know she couldn't spell, right? Illiterate. It's a poor thing. Wilbur. Will. Wanna go potties? Willie. Look at my baby. Here, so cool. Hey, bud. Where is Keith? Are you hunting for toads? Yep. Keith got a huge bufo toad tonight. Huge. Rest in peace, bufo toad. Huge. Yep, all Wilbur wants is his fluffy bed. You are right. Oh, let me turn the um, umbrella on. We never get to use this. I don't even, I forget how. Oh, there we go. Hold on, guys. There we go. Sorry, guys, it's dark over here. He left the tiki hut, so the light is gone. There you go. What's he eating? His carrots? There's a big root over here. I think I'm going to um, grab a flashlight and check the side yard and let baby cakes roam around a little bit. Is he peeing? Awesome. Good peepees, Wilbur's. Oh, I feel so much better now. You probably just lost three pounds. You hunting? We are just literally winding down from a very, very long day. Keith is hunting bufo toads. Wilbur is peeing. <laughs> it's not a very exciting evening, but this is what we're doing before we call it a night. Wilbur's is getting loving head scratches, peepees, carrots. Good boy, Wilbur's. Good boy. <laughs> Shelly's checking out Wilbur's butt. Wilbur, why are you under the table hiding? Wilbur's. <laughs> You're such a character, Wilbur. I swear he knows the camera's on him. He's hiding. Yep, that's all he wants is his fluffy bed and his fluffy comforters. He was Shelly said when she went to wake him up to take him out for his last pee pee break, he was wrapped up like a burrito. That's his favorite, favorite thing to do. I am... Are the lights on on the side, Keith? Okay. Yeah, because she's fine. Okay, cool. All right, take your time. She's barking, isn't she? She's ready. Oh no, I don't know if that's her. I think that's a neighbor's dog. Oh yeah. Tree frogs are fine. We let the tree frogs live. But she's probably sound asleep. Is she? Yep. She made look at she left us a little present. Yeah. She feels like soft serve ice. Uh-huh. Wilbur's is going into bed. He's ready. I am in the big four car detached garage that we have turned into a storage and a 
dog room. Left big beds and couches, and as you can see, Baby Cakes is very, very content right now. Very. Baby Cake. Hi, I didn't mean to scare you, Mommy. Hi, you want to go outside and do a last walk around and pee pee? Hi. Hi, baby girl. Do you want to go outside? Yeah. You ready to go pee pee and walk around a little, get stretches? Come on, let's go stretch your legs. Come on to bed. Come on, hop down. Good girl, mama. Come on, let's go outside and do a little walk around. There you go, baby cakes. Aww. She was out like a light, sound asleep. Sound asleep. Curled up on the leather couch as usual, that's her spot. She's so precious, she's such a good girl. I so would dream and love to see her in a home. I don't want her to live here, I don't. It's killing me. She's such a dream. And we put down, we do put down pee pee pads and she does her little soft serve poopies on it. Pick it up with a paper towel, throw it away. And she'll do it inside, outside, you just can't tell. But she's such a good girl. She's not destructive at all. She's just such an angel. She will bark when she wants something and let us know. Guys, I did a post earlier. I did a video of letting everybody know that she was back. And I'm desperately trying to find her home. I'm asking everybody to help me, please. That's all I'm asking is to please share every post I do. She was in a foster. Dana, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It didn't work out. The um, the own the the one the woman that wanted to adopt, um, she travels a lot. She's a pilot. She's gone more than she's home, so her roommate was going to help her, and her roommate is just not equipped. She put down. She threw a rawhide down, know. and the dogs got into it. You never do that ever. Um, and she feels terrible, but it is what it is. It's just not safe for her. So she's back here. She was dropped off. And I did hear from Evelyn, the woman that was wanting to adopt, and she feels Hi, terrible. She said, Amy, I'm so sorry. My heart is broken, but I'm not home, and it's just not fair. She's, she's devastated, but it is what it is. We need her to be in the right place. She has to be in the right home. So until that day comes, she'll be here. And unfortunately, you know, she has to be in the... It's not a terrible thing, um, but she wants to be, it is terrible because she wants to be with the person. She wants to put her head on your chest, on your lap. She wants to just cuddle. So it's, it's hard to, you know, be everywhere with so many dogs rotating, um, getting them out and tending to everybody. It's a lot. And we can't give her the one-on-one -on -one attention that she deserves. Again, she was, you know, sitting in a kill shelter um, for two months, and she uh, just was getting no interest because she's older, um, and we pulled her, and we were hoping that we would find her a home, and we're going to stay focused because we know that we're going to, she's a people pup, exactly. Um, we're going we're gonna to keep striving to try to find her her person. She would do wonderful with a person that's home, retired, has a fenced yard. It doesn't have to be. Everything's benign. She's, we had her checked out from head to toe. She is hot, warm, positive. She's on the slow kill, just like we did with Vaughn, and he's now negative. So we're doing the same thing for her. She's about 10, 11 years of age. She gets around phenomenal. She hops up on leather couches on her own. She hops down. I mean, we went to put her in the car, and she was jumping up in the car. It's unbelievable. I'm in love with her, too. I mean, if you guys, if there's somebody that is out of state, I'm going to be very honest. If you are that amazing, and, you know, you have no other pets, and you have a little fenced yard for her, I would, I would allow it if you're willing to come and meet her, um, you know, and drive her back. If it was perfect, I, I would allow it. I really would, because she loves the car. She's a wonderful traveler. 
and if you were the perfect person, I would allow her to be taken out of state because I, I know there's somebody out there. I know it. So if you're interested and you can be that person, um, you know, it would be lengthy. We'd have long conversations on the phone. You would send me photos and videos of your entire property inside and out. But you would have to make the drive. You would have to. I mean, I'm, I'd even be willing, honestly, to, well, I would say meet halfway, but I'd have to have you come and meet her first. So the whole thing is making sure you're committed because we have to make sure whoever meets her is in love with her and is committed. So if anybody's up for a road trip, please don't hesitate like to reach out to me. Please. I want to see her in a home. I want to see her loved. She, listen, she's 10, 11. She could live to be 15. She could live another four or five years. That's a long time. She's an angel. No, Snow has not pooped yet, but he will. He will. We added pumpkin and... Um, He'll, Thank he'll, you, Annie. We gave him the gastro. Oh, and we yeah, we gave him. Oh, guess the what? Oh, yeah, loved it. Um, our he friend did. Annie suggested giving him the gastrointestinal wet food, and he loved it. So he ate like a couple of bowls of gastrointestinal. Three big bowls. Three big bowls of. He's gonna poop. He's gonna poop in the morning. If you are one hundred percent committed, and you can offer the sweet, sweetest baby cakes, but again, she will do best being the only pet. Um, fenced yard. It doesn't have to be a big yard. Somebody that's home. I'm happy that I decided that too, Susan. I think we owe that to her. Uh, I know there are so many wonderful out-of-state adopters, but I would make whoever adopts her sign a contract that if for any reason they could not keep her, they have to bring her back. They have to. And I'm going to make them sign a notarized contract. Raise their right hand to God in front of witnesses. And do a very thorough background. And it might even be somebody that follows our rescue that has for years and has wanted to adopt from 100 plus. But, um, yeah, I, I just, I'm hoping somebody steps up. I really do. I'm praying because I don't want to see her dwindle. I don't want to see her in that garage. That garage is made for dogs that are going to come in. We're going to get them healthy and we're going to get them adopted. It is not a place to live throughout the rest of your life. It's not fair. She is, she's not a dog that just wants to be alone. There are plenty of dogs that are fine. She does not want to be alone. She wants to be with a person. She is so loving and so affectionate. Yes, Ann Peterson. Um, Snow has had a horrible, horrible life. For his four years on that we were told he is four and poor poor nutrition his body is probably in absolute shock from receiving all the good food she is sandra shock she's such a beautiful soul her coat is doing beautiful um i will give that to evelyn she whatever she was doing right shelly yeah, it's so yeah. beautiful and her smell there's she doesn't have that smell yeah, anymore the yeasty smell is gone. So thank you, Evelyn, for putting the love that you did into her. And I'm sorry it didn't work out. But we're going to find you a home, Mama. I promise we're going to do our best. We're going to find you your angel that's out there. Somebody's out there. Sweet dreams, Loanne. I'm sorry I have to go take a nap. Enjoy your nap, Loanne. <laughs> oh, God. What are you doing, moms? You going to do some peepees for me? How about some peepees? What are you doing? <laughs> Why did you wake me up, Annie? I was sleeping on the couch so peacefully. Oh, so, so peacefully. Do you want to go into pool tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Do you want to go swim into pools, pools tomorrow? Carol's off tomorrow. She's going to be doing some work from home. Maybe she'll take you in the pool tomorrow. Yeah. What do you think? Is Carol your swimming partner, huh? She holds you so tight and safe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cricket's good. Cricket is at our foster. She needs to be the only dog. What if you had it? Cricket needs to be the only dog. She does not want to be any dogs in her face. And our foster has a house full of dogs. So thank God for her. I'm so grateful for her. But it's not the fit. So we need to find little Cricket. We posted her on the page. Four-pound Chihuahua. Um, 
she needs to find a home with no other dogs or a dog that's older and chill that doesn't even exist, if you know what I'm saying. We have plenty of those. But that's what she needs. So please, if anybody can open up their home to a four-pound chihuahua for cricket, please don't hesitate to reach out. Please. Is everything okay? Baby Cakes is following Uncle Keith. All right, guys, I just got a call from Dr. Cannon from Blue Pearl, who's taking care of Mufasa, the Pomeranian, so I need to call her. I declined it because um, I wanted to not interrupt this video, but I am going to shut down because I'm just talking in circles. And thank you guys. Thank you so much for all your kind words of love and support. You can come and see us, Joyce, anytime. Just reach out to me. We'll set it up. Um, again, thank you guys for, for hopping on tonight and sharing this video of Wilbur and Baby Cakes is doing her last round. It's good. It's good exercise for her. Uh, the mosquitoes are out. Keith is on the hunt. Look at how pretty our tiki is. Look at we're decorating. We're having our little. Um, we're going to be having a karaoke volunteer fundraiser on the 17th. It's this coming Sunday. So uh, it's going to be a 20 of our volunteers, and we are getting our tiki hut all set up. Uh, we have our karaoke machine ready. We're getting our TV put up here so we can do live. We had it all set, the bracket. We have everything ready to go to have our Sunday from 1 to 6, which will be live for all of you to join in. And we can't wait to have you just join in the party with us. I wish I could have you all here. Um, thank you, everybody, for your stars. We have a new star feature. You can send stars, so thank you in advance, and thank you for all of you that donated your stars. All right, I'm going to call it a night. Balto is sleeping. He's sound asleep. He was out. He did his poopies. He did great tonight. Everybody's in bed. Everybody's had their last round, their peepees and their poopoos. Right, Mama? You're the last girl out. You're the last one standing, baby cakes. She's ready. I think she's ready. Look. Oh, can you see? Oh, Let me see. Is he sleeping? Yeah. Oh, monkey. Look at him sound asleep on his rug. Oh. We love him. Hi, Baltos. Sweet dreams, Baltos. Oh, he's stretching. Oh. Love you too, Myrtle. Thank you, guys. Good night, everybody. Come on, baby cakes. Oh, she's like, no, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Sweet dreams from our hearts to yours. This is Amy, Shelley, and Keith and Baby Cake signing off. Tomorrow is another day, 100-plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Good night.